Um, we have a special guest, Shanika. Um, you know, we uh, welcome her tonight. She's making sure that some, I'm not a grits person, but I will eat shrimp and grits. As long as it's not, I, grits for me is the texture. But yeah. so, <laughs> I'm excited. And what I'm most excited about, she has a special ingredient that I've never even heard of <laughs> that we are going to use in the shrimp and grits tonight. Welcome to our My Wife Can't Cook <laughs> Shrimp and Grits. Session. Yes. <laughs> Let's give them the Miss America. Oh, that was happening. <laughs> got it. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to thank everybody for um, tuning in tonight. Um, we have a special guest, Shanika. Um, you know, we uh, welcome her tonight. She's making shrimp and grits. Um, Shanika, so we want to know. So with the shrimp and grits, how what is this one of your favorite meals that you make? How did you how did this come about? Cause you got, I mean, we got peppers, we got cheese. How did this all come about? Like how? So, uh, so I have a big family. Yeah. And for starters, like it was already difficult to try to say, all right, let's just cook for three people because you know we cook at the branch houses for thirty people. Yeah. Um. So once I decided, all right, I like shrimp. Yeah. And I like grits. <laughs> and they go together. Um. It was. It's just. It became a matter of, all right, how do you like your shrimp and grits? Yeah. And I've had other people's and how they do it. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, I like it with this, or I don't like it with that. Yeah. And I think I've settled on what you know the way I like, I like it. it. So yes, yes. And I am excited. Um, Shanika is also a teacher. Let me tell you, this is going to test that old. Week. Well, I'm not that old, but she actually was Diamond, who is now 21, fifth grade teacher. Fourth, fourth, grade. fourth, 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 fourth yeah. grade teacher. She was one. She was one of the best teachers. I'm telling you, just on point, organized. I'm telling you, on point, and we loved it. We always used to say we. We need Shanika back. We need Shanika. Well, Diamond was a good student. She made it easy. Yes, and I remember one time Diamond had an issue with a boy in her class and Shanika. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Shanika kind of straightened it out. So we just thank her. Yeah, we don't mess around. Yes. Yeah, there you go. So she is in her zone tonight because she's actually teaching us how to make the shrimp and grits. So where yes. do we start? Okay. So, well, okay. Oh, go first, you want to, first, what ingredients do what we working with? All right. So I'm just going to run through kind of everything. Or I'll tell you my process. Um, we start off with some, some vegetables, you know, because you don't want to just go, you know, meat and grains, but <laughs> <laughs> there's some vegetables to it. So we're going to start off with some bell peppers mm -hmm. and you can mix those up. They can be the red ones, the orange ones, whatever color you want makes for a nice plate. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of green ones here and then we have some onions, white onions, and then we'll kind of saute those up a little bit with some garlic and some butter. Shout out to the butter. <laughs> and then um, we'll add our shrimp to that. We'll season them up, add that in. We'll put a little of my, I love this. This is um, this is the stuff. Listen. This is the stuff. This is called Better Than Bouillon. Yes. Jam. And it truly is better than bouillon. This is, this is the jam. Now this, she, when we, when we were going <laughs> over the ingredients, I was like, what is this? But, and, and it's, it's, and this is actually, what, which one is this? This one's a seafood base. This is the lobster base one. Yeah, it's good stuff. This is the lobster base one. See, it's called Better Than Bouillon. Yeah. And I just want to show you because I, I thought it was like a powder, like the bouillon cube. They're like a powder. Yeah. But this is actually like a, it's a paste. Like a paste. Yeah. Like, like, it looks like a little paste. It's like, legit. If you haven't yeah. used this before, it, it, it works well with anything. Yes. Vegetables, meat, it makes everything taste a little bit better. So yes. and, and they make it in different flavors too. Yes, and this is the roasted chicken one. It's called again, it's better than bouillon. Yeah. Make sure you get that. And I have to, you know, I'm gonna have to look into that because I know they have it. Now where what aisle can we find that? You'll one? find it wherever the gravy is in your supermarket. That's it's usually like with gravy and soup and things like that. And they have different flavors. They have um like just a roasted garlic one if you're a vegetarian or things like that they got beef the uh, beef based one and i think there's a pork based one they got the goods and this is it's a good now thing how much have. about how much is that this jar and is about what is it right about 5.99 oh, okay. but it lasts a pretty you know because it's so good and you don't have to use a lot of it it lasts quite a bit of time so yeah okay good stuff good All stuff right. <laughs> So, um, so that's the, the, the whole shrimp process for the okay. most part. Then it's the grits. Now, I, uh, some people struggle with kind of like, all right, they're just grits. Just cook the grits. And so I wanted to kind of put a little elevation on them, just a little bit, you know, nothing too fancy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cream them up a little bit. It's going to be great. There's going to be cheese and a little bit of cream. So that might help you with the, you know, the, okay. I don't like the texture. It yeah. might help you out with that too. Okay. Yes. To make it a little more smooth. Yeah. I don't like that gritty taste. So hopefully that'll help. 
All right, so let's get started. So what are we doing first? We want to grab let's uh, get some sauteing going. You want onions and onions and peppers and butter and garlic. Butter. Okay. Butter, favorite food group. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to come over here. Yes, just coming over to a nice little sauteing type pan. And just, you know, get with something that's um, big enough for you to use. Well, let's turn this on. Yeah, get it going. This kitchen is probably one of my favorite places that I've been in. Uh, I'm a guest in this kitchen, but I think I'm going to come over more often. <laughs> You're welcome. You're more than welcome. Is that the heat? Is that, that's a good enough you got? Oh, yeah, that's what okay. All, All right, right, so I'm going to do about two tablespoons of butter. Okay, so we got and two. And like right on the butter package, it kind of marks it off for you. Yep. Some people don't know that. <laughs> so we got two tablespoons of butter. Two, two tablespoons of butter so far. They're kind of melt, It's kind of melting. I'm going to let it get all melty. In fact, we can kind of turn this up. Yeah, go ahead. Just, just however you want to do it. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're going to get that ready for a little saute. Mm -hmm. I got my spoon ready. Again, if you don't, if you get a chance to come to this kitchen, this is like the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's place. And we have to stay. If you listen, you you know you welcome. We got another bill behind you. Listen, just just, just let me show up. Just let me know. <laughs> just show up. So just let me kind of spread that around my pan here. Now the seasoning that I so and my mind is like season everything and season everything separately so vegetables they, they count yes, <laughs> so you yes. season them too yes um so i like to start off with my garlic in this is about three four cloves of garlic okay if you don't like salt as much as i do then don't use three or four cloves of garlic this is really what Shanika likes and hopefully what everybody in the room likes because they're going to be my tasters yes <laughs> <laughs> this is a medium onion i like onions so they're in. So that's I'll about a meat. That's a medium onion and about. So we had a really big pepper. So we did a one and a half peppers, but I was going to shoot for two. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Creole seasoning. Now you can use your favorite Creole seasoning on this. My favorite is Cajun Choice. And this is her. I want to just go to the camera real quick and show you all the Cajun, Cajun Choice seasoning. Mm-hmm. This is the Cajun choice seasoning that she's talking about. This is the Creole seasoning. So this is what we're going to put on. That's my favorite. Now that's, that's what I like. Now you might have your favorite. The thing about comfort food is what, it's what provides comfort for you. So I'm just going to sprinkle this in. I'm going to guess and say that's about a teaspoon. Because <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> um, as spicy as you like it or, or you know. Yeah. Now do you put so you don't... Do you use salt and pepper? I typically don't use okay. salt and pepper in anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I no. I tend to stay away from it just because I know that I like some of the other things that are hot and spicy. Yeah. And um, you know, us being brown people, yes. we have to look out for things like the yes. hot blood yes. pressures and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, we're not gonna double down with salt and seasoned salt and all yes. that stuff. So I'm, I usually pick um, the seasoned salt over. Yeah. So should we get the do, should we get start the water boiling? Ah, sure. Let's okay. get it going. So I just turn it on. We can just stay. I'll stay here and keep it going. All right. Yeah. All we got going right now is our grit pot. In the back is four cups of water. Now we're gonna kind of cook the grits the way they're instructed to be cooked on the back of the box. Mm -hmm. I kind of altered it a little bit with some of the liquid. Yeah. So um, I, I put my teacher brain on. <laughs> Um, we're preparing this for, it says, according to the back of the grit box, it says a serving of six. I, um, I cut the, the liquid into two, into two thirds. So I did two thirds of the recipe for water, which ends up being four cups. And I'm going to put, put in two cups of cream. Yes. Now, do you want to put the cream in now? or Put that in right now. Oh, okay. So we have two cups of heavy uh, whipping cream. Yeah. That we're going to add. Um, into with the water, with the water to let it start boiling. Mm -hmm. That water was already in there. Yes, <laughs> it's like magic water. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that, in, but that smells good. That I one smells so good. Sauteed vegetables. I can eat. I can eat sauteed vegetables just like that. Talk about it. Yes, <laughs> sauteed vegetables. Now I'm not trying to live a vegetarian's life, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, sauteed vegetables. And that's why I say season everything because. Yes. You know. Now, at what point do we add the, like, how do we know when we need to add the shrimp? Okay, so I, for, for this particular di dish, I don't like my vegetables to crunch too much. Mm -hmm. But again, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. it's a I, don't, I don't like it either. So I, I like it to kind of be, a, a, you know, a similar texture. So I'm just kind of 
thinking it through, and I'm like, all right, halfway, and I'll show you once, you know, what I'm thinking once I once, once get I there. get there. I'll okay. kind of bend it for you so that you can see. But um, usually the onions are going to be kind of translucent. You can kind of yeah. see through them. Yeah. Peppers are going to be a little darker in color. They will darken up a little bit. Okay. If you're, um, you know, not as focused as we are right now, because this is all that we're doing. I know yeah. everybody has different lifestyles, and you cook it in a hurry. Turn the heat down okay. <laughs> so that you're not burning your stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, just yeah. yeah. So it's depending on how much attention you can give it. Yeah. We're all back. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're all ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, how often do you make this dish? Uh, with my family requests. <laughs> <laughs> they usually like this one. This one usually works really fast because like shrimp, it takes shrimp three, four minutes yeah. to cook. Yeah. Then take these vegetables long than it takes yeah. the meat. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the last time I made it, which was actually right before um, agreeing to do this here, yeah. my family, you know, they were kind of like, all right, let's do the taste test version. I didn't invite them. They kind of invited themselves. <laughs> but um, I'm like, all right, I need, I, I, I needed to try to break it down to a recipe of four. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen. I still ended up making it for like 20 people. Wow. And, and um, yeah, it, it just, yeah. So this was what, two, two weeks ago? Two oh, weeks ago? Okay. Okay. But yeah, this is like breakfast, it's dinner, yeah. it's yeah. the middle of the day. Yeah, it's a really good. What I like about it is um, it's thick. Like yeah. it's like, this is like hard. This, this is winter meal. It, it, winter meal is kind of, yeah. you know, stick to your bones. Yeah. Here we go. Shrimp. Now, before we add those in, we have our shrimp over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to toss those a little bit. And when I say I, um, Nikki's gonna toss those. She's gonna toss those with a little bit of old bag. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and hit those. Again, everything is its own little bit of seasoning. Okay. So we're just putting old bay. Yep. A little bit of old bay. That's something that I like. If you don't like old bay, go ahead yeah, and add two um, bones here. How about that? <laughs> if you don't like old bay, use the Creole seasoning. But you know what? Let me. If you like salt and pepper, salt and pepper it. This is a comfort dish. It should bring comfort to you. So whatever you enjoy, or makes you feel comfortable and feel better at the end of the day, yeah. that's what you should be. Uh, All right, is that enough or you want to put more? Uh, what, what's the vibe in the room? I like a nice, a nice amount of season. I would okay. take more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I kind of made a little space on the side over here because I want my shrimp to go in on the pan, in the pan on their own. I, okay. I don't know why I do that. It's a preference and nothing more. That's probably like cooking cooking technique wrong, but it's what I like. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just, it's okay for the liquid. Okay, just put them all in there. Yep. <laughs> Go for it. So this Ooh. is a um, recipe we said we initially called for about um, 20 to 25 shrimp for four people. Yeah, you know your family better than I do. Mm -hmm. If your family likes shrimp, then, then you know bump it up. And then uh, we also called for the larger shrimp. Again, you know your family, you know your budget, you know your situation. Cook whatever it is that makes your heart happy. So they're in here. Um, what you're going to find is the shrimp are going to kind of release a little bit of liquid. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of have a little bit of gravy. It's not going to be a thick gravy, but it's going to go great once it gets in the, um, in the whole bowl with the, with the grits and everything. It's going to be lovely. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to kind of mix those in together. I got the little peppers and onions Ooh, in there. With the shrimp, and then I'm actually gonna put the lid on this. Okay. Where's the hook? Here it is. Oh, okay. Here's our, our rice. Oh, how about that? <laughs> I'll put it up. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm about okay. to use the magic. Okay. This is the magic. The we're using the lobster this one. one. Yes. So I'm gonna drop I'm here. Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, better than bouillon, the seafood based one, inside of our seafood mixture. Um, when I say a little bit, it will do you like a little bit will do you. This is like, uh, let's we'll say about a teaspoon. And I just kind of mix that in with the liquid down here at the bottom. If you don't have as much liquid as I do in the pan that I have, it's okay for you to add a little bit of water or add a little bit of butter, whatever you, whatever your taste buds are telling you to do. And, um, mm -hmm. I will, I'll check on this and see what it tastes like in a few minutes, but I'll just start there. Okay. And what about the chicken one? That now, means? I'm about to put some of the chicken one. This is, yeah, watch out now. <laughs> I'm about to put some of the chicken stuff. Let me cover this back up. Yes, you okay. can. <laughs> Don't you do that. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken stock in our grits pot. Now, I know some of you are saying that's strange and unusual. <laughs> but anything to add a layer of flavor is going to, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's going to change your life. 
gonna change your life. <laughs> it's gonna change your life. Um, and it's just a little bit. It's not. It's not gonna. You know, yes. you're not about to make chicken grits. That's not what's happening. <laughs> it's just a little bit of flavoring. That's gonna change it up just a spoon. And then just kind of whisk that in. Mm. All right, it's grit time. This is like you know. Probably has nothing to do with culinary school at all. But <laughs> the whisk. This right here is the thing. Whisking these grits into this pot is going to be the game changer. Okay? So right now we're about to pour in, according to the um, container from the grits, I didn't make this part up. If this is one and a half, uh, one and a half cups of grits. So slow, nice and slow. Yep. So, yep, pouring that in and whisking those in to the liquid. Oh, yeah, we're making more. <laughs> yeah, grab some more. We need yeah, more. we need more. I was gonna say they're over there on the counter. We'll make more of this, especially since they're gonna be really good. Yeah, you can pour some more, and I'll tell you to stop. Okay. And it's all about a feel, and I hate that that's what it is for me, because um, all right, that's good. It feels okay. good. Like it, 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 there's a feeling to it, and that's I mean I guess that's what soul food is as well. Um, I'm about to add some more of the the, the better than bouillon. Okay. I can tell that I, I want that. Base. Yes. Um, can you grab me another little spoon? Okay, grab me one too. Okay. Okay. Because okay. okay. that's how you know. <laughs> you don't know yeah. until you taste. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's see. That's how you know. Mm. All right. How you feeling? Oh. Oh, that lobster stuff. Yeah, that's right? <laughs> that's legit. That's legit yes. a game changer. I'm going to go ahead and get in here with my grits. Okay, so now, right now, we're just at the point of love. Let's just get ready to show love to every piece of our dish to make it everything that we want it to be. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some more oh, um, the, the, the lobster, better than bouillon lobster. Yes. Yeah. You can turn that all, like, very, very, very low. Okay. And I'm just going to put another, what I have, so it looks like a teaspoon. And I'll mix it in with the liquid. All right, let me. We're at the point of love now. I'm gonna show each of our little components some love because that's what soul food is all about. Yeah. All right, I'm just turning the grits down because they're doing a boiling kind of thing. Ooh, they don't look like grits. No, they don't. All right, so now it's time to add the cheese and more butter, my favorite food group. That that that's <laughs> more like a cream. Yeah. Okay. So this is two cups of cheese. Two cups of cheese. Golden. And this is white, extra sharp cheddar. white cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, while she's pouring, I'm gonna whisk and keep whisking. Now if you need more cheese, let me know. Okay, it's gonna be about whether or not you want more cheese. <laughs> How much butter? I'm a visitor. Now you this got is, butter right there. Yes, I do. So this is gonna be a little obscene. Somebody's <laughs> gonna say, "Oh my gosh, cardiac arrest." I will put that whole stick of butter in here because okay. that's what I like. Okay. We Drop that in. Yeah, <laughs> now, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't say that this was going to be healthy. I just said it was going to be. There you go. I said it was going to be tasty. You're going to enjoy it. I said all of that. <laughs> okay. So that's just right. At the, this is just at a point of a, a simmer, like keep it warm. I'm going to plate. Oh, yes. Here we go. Some nice creamy grits. Who are we serving this for? It does, that's that's like good. a healthy eater? That's good. Okay. Let yeah. me just do one or how many? You can do all three. Okay. Because they probably we're about to do it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love the, the, the stage crew. <laughs> yes. We about, and this was, how long it took about? This is done. It's here. Took about a good 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. And if you were just, you know. Well, yeah. You a mess. That's good. That's all right. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I made a mess. Okay. That's all right. All right. So here we go. We got our grits. Now we'll scoop in some of our shrimp and the, the nice little gravy that we just made. Yes. That looks so good. Without making a mess. Mm. And you want me to garnish them? You got it. And I'm going to bring them over to there so everybody okay. can see. Come on in here. Yeah, yeah, I love that. If I did that, that would help. Okay. okay, cool. And then I'm just going to turn everything off because yep. everything is done. 
All right, we're gonna bring what we got over here. Oh, let's do it so we can see what we're working with. Let's do it up and let's eat shrimp and grits. Yes, shrimp and grits. Very, very easy. Your family will feel great about it. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what we're working with. So we have here, we have our grits that we use whipping cream with, mm -hmm. cheese, and that cheese, and that, that, first of all, the whipping cream, before she even added the grits, gave it that smooth texture. Yes. Because I'm a texture person. I'm a texture <laughs> you. I cannot have nothing wet, gritty, but it gave it that smooth Smooth texture. it out. Okay. And it just, it looks like, I mean, like a, it doesn't even look like grits. Yeah. It almost, yeah, it almost looks like mashed potatoes almost. Almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, then we have our shrimp that we season with the Old Bay, Old Bay by itself. Shrimp. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then... We, then she added the special sauce. Oh, yes. The bouillon lobster, better than bouillon lobster base, uh -huh. into the sauce, which gave it like another uh, good like a, another good taste. Another yeah. layer. Yes. Another level. Yes. Just rise up. <laughs> rise up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and right. dig in. And I'm going to grab. Now, these shrimps are big. Yes, they are. So I'm going <laughs> to kind of cut mine. I'm going to throw them in my mouth. Are you ever like, like a, after you finish cooking, you're not hungry? Sometimes I'm like that. Okay, I'm like that all the time. Let's pour me to do Let's see. Hot. Is it? It's hot. <laughs> mm. It was my goal to change your mind about mm. grits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what is happening? Mm. Where I'm hoping that's what happened. Mm. Saying something? <laughs> I feel the praise coming Doesn't on. Doesn't speak to you. Wait a minute, I feel my shando coming on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh! See, there it is. You caught it. You mm. caught it. Catch the vision. Mm. Catch the vision. <laughs> this is really good. That, whatever... Brits better than bouillon. Like, Girl. I wish I had invented that. It's like like gold in a bottle. Like, it's just... We're going to have... We always got to taste test. We're going to call the crew. We're going to call our crew. Mama! <laughs> Come taste over here. On camera. We need somebody to taste on camera. Oh, I was saying it to go. This looks good. Well, good. Yeah, yeah. I love sugar. Good. I got to break mine up. <laughs> uh oh. Scooch over so we can get turned on. Yeah. Go ahead. We, let yeah, us know. What... Mm -hmm. My God, my God. And again, like if there are things that I added in that you didn't like or don't eat, like don't put them in. No, everything is in your soul. <laughs> even the texture of the onions and peppers is good. Like mm -hmm. it, it goes, it just smooths right smooth. in. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, it's really good. Yes. <laughs> I've had a lot of sugar grits. I'm not this one. Yes. I am happy that you are happy. Mm. Mm. And that's what it's all about. Like when my family calls and they say, do a thing. I'm like, all right. Mm. Or when I say, all right, I feel like doing a thing. <laughs> and they thought they're like, all right, go ahead, do it. Yeah. The last week it was um shrimp. Oh, chicken marsala. I made chicken marsala. I'm like, I have a taste for chicken marsala. And my family said, Oh yeah, yeah. Put me in, put me in. <laughs> and it's just, you know. Yeah. So we want to again thank Shanika for coming and sharing this recipe. Loved it. Listen, that with whipping cream and that does this. That was a that's that you did good. You I did good. Think, <laughs> right, <thank you. laughs> So we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Listen, get you some heavy whipping cream if you make it. Add that whipping cream and use the whisk. The whisk. And y'all, don't forget to go out and get you better than bouillon cream. Uh, it's like a paste. Call it. It's like a paste. Better than bouillon paste. And they have the lobster and the chicken base. And she said they have other ones too. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to get all of them because you can use make your gravy with this. Yep. Um, your chicken gravy, your beef mm -hmm. gravy, even your... I'm thinking you can even use this for your shrimp boils. Probably, yeah. If you make a yeah, shrimp boil, put that, put in, that there. in there, you're good to go. But again, we want to thank y'all for tuning in tonight to our shrimp and grits. We want to <laughs> thank Shanika. This this is not going to be your last time. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> this was on my bucket list of things to do in life. Yeah, she so took it. Look, she made me feel like a... Uh, <laughs> She made us feel like I was a celebrity. She's like, <laughs> she's like I've never been on a TV show. I'm like, oh. But I just say, <laughs> y'all, for coming on and you for coming on tonight to share with us this shrimp and grits, I'm telling you, it is delicious. Make sure, and don't forget the scallions, because the scallions on top add, add a little extra oomph to it. And it's really good. So we thank y'all. Have a blessed night tonight. And I don't know what we're making next week yet, but we'll have something <laughs> for y'all. We'll have something for y'all. 
Um, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yes. And have a blessed night and a blessed rest of the week. Thank you all. See you until next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>